Mariah Carey's music has gotten her fans through their most devastating heartbreaks. So how does a pop diva make it through her own? A new reality series showcases the singer's most personal moments, giving fans a glimpse of what it's like to live in Mariah's world. Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Juju Chang. Mariah Carey's voluptuous figure and glass-shattering voice always on full display. Like at her blockbuster Vegas stint at Caesars Palace. But also on full display of late, her personal life, her splashy engagement to Australian billionaire James Packer crumbling in the tabloid headlines, something she spoke openly about with E. Now we do see in the premiere you making wedding plans. Obviously things have changed since then. So is it hard now for you to relive those moments, knowing that that's hitting the air? In life, it's just like you got to see what's meant to be. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if it's not, then ultimately you just have to accept that and move on. This Sunday, her new reality show, Mariah's World, takes us back in time, showcasing a couple still very much in love. It was designed to give fans VIP access to the pop diva's life behind the scenes on tour. It's an insight into a world people might not see. Mariah Carey is the perfect candidate for a reality show because she is so over the top. And the woman walks around in lingerie and sips champagne. She's a diva, so of course you want to see a diva in action. Oh my goodness. The series begins aboard a lavish yacht. We did not grow up this way. As her real life is imploding on reality TV. Don't you come at me with that foolishness. This is not good for the whole production. Her fans will get to know her five-year-old twins, Monroe and Moroccan and catch glimpses of Mariah co-parenting with her now second ex-husband, Nick Cannon. She does show a lot of her kids. She posts a lot of them on social media around the holidays and Halloween costumes. I think a lot of fans are gonna be interested to see how she interacts with them on a daily basis. And as a blushing bride-to-be in a surreal dress fitting for what would have been her third wedding. The 35 carat engagement ring alone cost $10 million. Despite rumors that Packer hated the cameras, Carrie told E they were both excited to be on a reality show. I'm just curious what your fiance James has to say about the cameras around. Is he in this a lot? What does he it's, think? It's not a lot. He thinks it's good. He's happy that I'm doing it. Within a few months, the couple split. Well, Mariah and James split last month. She and fiance James Packer split. Things started to go south when they went on vacation together in Greece in September. They got into a really big fight, decided to take a step back. But then in October, a report surfaced that the engagement was off. She dodged the issue in an awkward chat with Ellen. Allegedly, he didn't want to be in it. Well. Or allegedly, he's in it. He's in it, because I saw it. You did. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of difficult to talk about at this moment, so I'm just going to compliment you on these decorations once again, uh -huh. because they are fabulous, and right. I'm here. Ramona Singer of The Real Housewives of New York, I know I'm a piece of work, but now I'm a work in progress, knows the difficulty of living life's trials and tribulations on reality TV. Your life is described as a Ramona coaster. Right. And you don't mind having it all out on display. Well, there's nothing that I'm ashamed of, you know? I'm very proud of who I am. For the last eight years, Ramona has been laughing, <laughs> crying. I mean, I know I'm a strong person, I'll be okay. Yeah. And catfighting her way into everyone's homes. Excuse me. You know what, I'm, I'm sick of it. But behind the scenes, Ramona's seemingly perfect 20-year marriage to Mario Singer was falling apart. He's part of me. In front of Bravo's cameras. We all go through ups and downs in our lives. Absolutely. But we don't have cameras capturing our reactions in real time. That's got to be painful. I remember the pain of taking Avery off to college and uh, the pain of, the, of my marriage ending. When you're under a microscope like that, though, as you're undergoing all this trauma, do you just wish the cameras would go away? No, because you know what? If I could help women figure out what to do, I mean, I, I believe in marriage. I believe in trying to work on your marriage because I don't want to have any regrets. I, you know, I shared, I don't want to cry, but I shared my life with this man for over 20 years. I loved him. I loved him. It shows. And I didn't want to leave until I knew it couldn't work. But what advice would you give about losing a relationship and having that blow up on the middle of a reality show? 
that's what's gonna be painful to watch. But maybe not so painful. Reports say that perhaps Mariah is moving on with Brian Tanaka, her backup dancer. It looks good for over here. Tanaka does have a crush on her. What are we gonna do with him? You saw it, he's not leaving that easily. Just recently, pictures surfaced of Carrie and Tanaka in Hawaii, fueling rumors. Neither responded to our request for comment. They were kissing, holding hands on the beach, he was picking her up. So it seems like Mariah is rebounding nicely. When you're a celebrity, the prying eyes of the camera are never far away. It's life, and I'm an open book, and you know I think people can learn from the show. Do you ever feel like the viewers are watching to, to, to watch people in turmoil? I think you know if I was just having tea parties every day and, and sewing, it'd be a boring show to watch. Um, they, they get into watching women and, and people having this high lifestyle. <laughs> having these major issues and problems because then they look back and say, gee, my life isn't so bad, you know? For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.